Hey, good morning and happy Aloha Friday. It's the end of the third nine weeks and we're starting to get real close to spring break. And this time of year, tensions definitely seem to run hot. And there were several times this week where um, students, teachers, and staff um, were probably really frustrated about one situation or another. You know, we have uh, high school scheduling that the kids are doing, so maybe they didn't get into the class that they wanted to get into or didn't do well on their NWEA testing. You know, we had a fire alarm the last five minutes of class um, this week. And so, you know, there are definitely countless random things that happen here at middle school, oftentimes that just make us feel like that's the last straw and, uh, you know, we really lose our cool and that kind of thing. So students ex experience that, you know, staff experience that, and I'm sure you experience that at home. Um, and recently, I've really found myself trying to lean into that frustration, you know, embrace that frustration, because that really just is a indication to me that I care. And so um, it's not better to not be frustrated, because if I wasn't frustrated, that probably would tell me that I really don't care about my students. And so, um, you know, I am frustrated because I do deeply care about the success of my students. And so acknowledge that frustration and acknowledge that, you know, growth means change. And sometimes change is not easy. It's not welcome. And, uh, you know, we need to keep pushing ourselves to move outside of our comfort zone. And that's what growth looks like. So, um, you know, we need to keep growing, need to keep, um, you know, some type of pain and frustration in there and embrace it. And that means that, you know, we care. So don't be afraid to be frustrated. Um, the high school schedules are due today. Uh, if for one reason or another that didn't get signed and brought in, we'll want to make sure that those get signed and brought in as quickly as possible. Next week, uh, high school counselors will be here to meet with students and go over those schedules. And so we really want to get that wrapped up um, here real quick. Also got spring break coming up uh, in the next two weeks. So be, uh, you know, looking forward to that. As far as what's happening in class, uh, this week, yesterday, we took the DNA structure notebook quiz. Um, all of those have been graded. I did put those into Skyward, and then I'm going to finish up this week getting caught up on some late assignments students have submitted. So all grades should be put into Skyward for the third nine weeks uh, this weekend. And um, we will be starting then next week on to cell respirate, or I'm sorry, cell reproduction. Uh, we're not going to finish that before spring break, so uh, we'll just work on the vocabulary quiz next week and then uh, uh, get ready for spring break. As far as in biology, we will be finishing up um, natural selection next week. I plan on having the test late next week because we're going to be doing a virtual field trip to the glass barn, which is a uh, virtual field trip that will look at many of the farming practices here in Indiana. And so this is something that is done by the Indiana Soybean Association and really looks at a lot of modern farming practices. We'll also be doing a follow-up later in the year with a um, a sustainable agriculture and restorative agriculture farm uh, called Second Breakfast Ranch. I'll have more information on that as that nears, but we're um, applying, you know, looking at a lot of the different things that we do here in Indiana as far as agriculture and how that relates to um, building sustainable ecosystems. So, as always, thank you so much for everything you do as a parent and caregiver. 
If there are any questions, comments, or concerns that you have for me, please do not hesitate to reach out to me um, either through email or a comment here on this video, on this post in Parent Square. Uh, I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you so much.